How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Countdown video. We only have 96 days left until the game's release on December 7th and today we'll be taking a look at another supposed leak. As always I cannot stress this enough, we have no idea if this leak is true or not, so make sure you take it with a grain of salt and realize I am talking about this just for fun. If you would like to read along while I talk, you can find the link to the original post in the description bar down below. But before we get started, I have a few things I need to tell you guys. The first thing I need to tell you guys is in regards to the Nintendo eShop gift card giveaway. Originally we were going to live stream it tonight at 8pm Eastern, but unfortunately I had some things come up so we'll be moved back to tomorrow, Monday, September 3rd at 8pm Eastern. So if you have not yet already entered, I bet you're happy right now. So if you want to enter, you can find a link to the video where you can enter in the description bar down below. The best part about this giveaway is that you do not even have to be present to end up winning. I'm going to be live streaming it to show everyone that this is 100% fair and I'm not cheating anyone in any way. So if you can't make it but you end up winning, I will send you a private message even if you are not there. So do not worry. Go ahead and enter and as long as you can see this video, you are eligible to win. Next, if you guys have not yet already, I highly recommend you join the Discord. We have over 700 members now and we have tons of Smash Ultimate discussion going on all the time. So a link to that will also be in the description bar down below. Finally, a lot of people have been asking me about this, and honestly I wasn't sure if I was even going to talk about this, but if you would like to make a donation, you can find a link in the description bar down below. YouTube is still not monetized me, which means I have not made a single cent off of this channel, so if you would like to help out, it would mean a lot to me. It is never required, but it is always appreciated. And now, with all that out of the way, let's jump right into the newest league. So for the past couple of days, everybody has been in a frenzy because of the leak that was released which released all of these brand new character renders of like Chorus Kids and Shadow and I decided not to talk about that today because tons of people have been ripping that leak apart. So today we're going to take a step back from that and take a look at a different render of brand new characters that I found a couple of days ago. So the first one we're going to take a look at is actually of Dixie Kong and Banjo Kazooie. You can see it on screen now. So basically we have this render of Dixie Kong doing like a kick in the air and Banjo Kazooie doing what I assume is his walking animation. So the first thing I noticed while looking at this picture is that Banjo does not have Kazooie with him. So I didn't play much Banjo Kazooie growing up, it just was never really like my number one game or anything. But if I'm not mistaken, I thought Kazooie always rode on Banjo's shoulders or something like that, but I find it really interesting that Kazooie is nowhere to be seen. Maybe Kazooie's doing some kind of attack right now, but I'm really not sure what's going on. Hopefully you guys can let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, this just looks like Banjo's normal walk animation. And then moving over to Dixie Kong, I believe she's doing Diddy Kong's back air right now. So we all know that Diddy Kong's back air is this kind of kick where he kicks behind him, and it looks like that's what's happening right now. We all know that if Dixie Kong is going to make it into the game, she is most likely going to be an Echo Fighter of Diddy Kong, which means that that backwards aerial that Diddy Kong uses on her makes a lot of sense. So while looking at this picture, I noticed that no one has been able to debunk this yet. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below, but these look like two brand new renders. I haven't seen that render for Dixie Kong before, and I haven't seen that render for Banjo and Kazooie before, which means that this might actually be legit, I'm not really sure. Now, I'm not sure if this leak has anything to do with the leak that was released the other day, but it looks like these characters are pretty closely resembled to their models from the selection screen that we saw. So, overall I think that these two look pretty good, and I could totally see these being renders of the characters in the game. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comment section down below. The next image we're going to be taking a look at is actually of Geno from Super Mario RPG. So as of right now, I don't think that anybody has debunked this image yet, but please let me know in the comment section down below if they have. The first thing I noticed about this Geno image is that it looks extremely good. Honestly, if Geno ever did make it into Smash Ultimate, I could see him looking something very similar to this or almost the exact same as this. He just looks like he fits into Smash Ultimate. He isn't doing a move or anything right now, which leads me to believe that this is either his character select icon or maybe this is his victory screen icon. I'm really not sure what he's doing right now, so let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. So make sure you guys let me know what you think about these images in the comment section down below. Do you believe that these images are real? Why or why not? And would you be happy if they were? Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, share, and like, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.